Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to do like Nate in Premiere Pro. Create a new sequence Horizontal 1080, Vertical 9020. Press OK. Let me add a video into the timeline. Go to Window, Extensions, select the Premiere Composer. So, this is a free plugin from Mr. Horse. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Under Starter Pack, Test Presets. Let me set up this test animation. Let me go to New Item, Black Video. Place this at bottom. Select the video and decrease opacity. Create a copy of this test animation by holding Alt key or Option key. Let me change the test. Place this over here. Now I'm going to add a green screen video of money. Change the rotation to 90 degree. Under opacity, select rectangle marks to select keyframe for mask path. Go few press forward and adjust the mask path. Go to effects and add ultra key. Select this color picker and select this green color. Cut this green screen video. Right click, P duration, check reverse speed. Now I'm going to add a TV static overlay video. Go to effect controls and change blend mode to screen. Let me add a copy of this test layer over here. Add Mr. VC image in timeline. Set keyframe for position and drag it down. Go few frames forward and position up. Now I'm going to add some wiggle effect. So go few frames forward and position slightly down. Go again few frames forward and position up. Go again few frames forward and position all the way down. So let me add a photo image. Using pen tool, I'm going to add an outline like this. And refer controls, uncheck fill color, uncheck stroke color. Change color to red. We don't need this folder image. To make the outline glow, go to effects and add drop shadow. Change shadow color to red. Increase softness to 70. So I'm going to create a 3 or 4 copies of drop shadow. Also increase the scroll size to 10. Let me place this playhead over here. Using rectangle shape tool, I'm going to create a shape like this. Uncheck stroke, check fill. Change fill color to white. Go to Windows, Essential Graphics, increase the roundness value. Now create another rectangle shape tool, place it over here. Set a circle shape and create a small circles like this. Change colors to red, yellow and green. I'm going to nest all these layers. Place this over here.
Now I'm going to create two copies of this in sequence. Let me add a test an image. I just push it on scale. Set this outline layer and set a keyframe for position. Position down, go few frames forward and position up. Next, this test layer on image. Set keyframe for position and position down. Go few frames forward and position up. Do the same for the other two sequence. Let me select this test and image and sequence and this bottom and sequence. Next to take it. Cut this and sequence in here. Let me place it to the right. Place this layer on the bottom. Place other and sequence on top. Set keyframe for position and go a few frames forward and place in the sequence to the right. Do the same for this in the sequence also. Instead, you need to place the position to the left. Now I'm going to add an image and test in here. Set keyframe position for both, place it to the right, do the same for the other next sequence. After all that done, next this test an image layer and next sequence layer. Select this book next sequence which is in the left image, cut it over here. Go to effect controls and set keyframe for position and scale. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size and adjust the position. Let me place it in a sequence or two. Cut the remaining part. Let me copy this TV static video and place it over here. Add this image over here. I just scale and push it. Push it to the right. Go few frames forward and push it to the left. Again, go few frames forward and set a keyframe for position. Go few frames forward, push it to the left. Select the spin tool and create a wave like shape. Uncheck fill and check stroke. Stroke size 1, add drop shadow to the line layer. Change shadow color to white and adjust softness. Create duplicates of drop shadow. Place this line layer below this image. Adjust position. Let me add a phone icon. Place it to the right and set keyframe. Go few frames forward and place it to the left. Add tint. Change map black to and white to white. Go to effects and add turbulent displays.
set keyframe for the amount. Go few press over and increase the amount value. Also, I will set a keyframe for opacity. Go few press forward and decrease opacity to zero. Now I'm going to add a calendar image. Adjust scale and position. Set keyframe for position and drag it down. Go few press forward and position up. Using rectangle shape tool, I'm going to create a small rectangle shape like this. Under opacity, select this rectangle shape. Create a mask like this. Go few press forward and place the mask all the way to the right. Add Gaussian Blur to the calendar rectangle shape. Set keyframe for blurriness. Go few press forward and increase the blurriness. Go to Premiere Composer. Add some other test animation. Add a test. Change color to red. Create a copy of this in sequence and place it over here. Add test and a green screen video. Go to effects and add ultra key. Select this color picker and select green color. Set keyframe for position for both test and the screen screen video. Position down. Go few frames forward and position up. Let me cut this null sequence in here and create copies of this null sequence. Set keyframe for opacity and go few frames forward and opacity zero. Do the same for the other two. As for the last scene, add these three images like this. Select each image and add opacity, select rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Increase the mask feather. Add drop shadow to each image. Also add tint to each image. Nest all these layers. Yeah. And that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you found this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.